Hey everyone, it's Eugene from Blender Nation. I decided that after seeing this quote-unquote demo by Campbell and Matt that I had to tease out how they did it. And of course I say quote-unquote because to me this is more than a demo. This is beautiful. But that just it's a testament to how elite they are at Blender. Very nice. So let's just go over the basics. Uh, start with a, just a basic cube. They bevel it. We don't have to. And remember, this is just the basic animation. We're not going to go over any of the composition because I'm sure uh, Mac could give a way better tutorial on that one. Uh, so let's do two things. We are going to add modifiers. And let's just, we can do that right now. And I'm going to do uh, seven. I'm going to turn off relative offset for now. And we are also then going to copy this so we have an identical one. Now what we need is two empties. I'm going to go add empty and see we have an empty there but we can also see it's not in the right rotation so we're going to clear rotation alt R. I'm going to add another empty right on top alt R. Back to the cube, back to the modifier. Let me bring this a little closer here. We're going to use object offset and we're going to use empty for the first one and we're going to use the and we're always remember to turn these on I've done that a few times I've left them off and nothing was working empty dot zero zero one alright we can begin uh, first thing I'm going to do is actually get a IPO window up and we're going to start with empty just the first one uh, we did. I'm going to insert location rotation scale, move it up a little, and start animating. I'm going to pull this out a little. I'll insert that one there. Uh, Matt had a little, uh, Campbell had a little bit of retraction here, so I'll bring that back in. So we have that there. So it goes out, come back, so it comes back in. I'm also going to do a little rotation rotate and I will also scale I notice with the empties you can do it all rotation location scale and it'll affect the remainder of the array so I'm going to key that so we look at it come around looks good uh, they also had a little bit more complexity because they had another empty so key thing to note here is that this empty right here we're standing on frame 34 after I just did this if we keyframe now it'll go crazy so let's just actually go back to the very beginning for empty 01 and key it since that's where it's going to stay until frame 34 and now I'm going to key it again just for completion's sake now we can start really animating this I'm going to pull it out to frame 51. I'm going to grab that empty and very similar to what they had. I'm also going to key this. So there we have it. The basics of the contr animation control. There was a lot more composition. I suggest you definitely take a look at the dot blend file. Lots of great little tidbits and information in there that you can sort of tease out and learn from. So here we are again using two empties you can get a lot of wild and crazy array modifier animations